Like many others who have experienced trauma, I used to be inflamed by phrases like, you've got to move on, or you got to move forward. Early in my life, when my traumas were at their worst, I wanted to scream, but you have no idea what I've gone through. I was enraged at the ignorance or disregard for the pain I endured. Even as I started to heal, I wanted to put my head down in defeat when I heard those phrases, frustrated by the enormity of what they were suggesting. It seemed impossible. I always thought, how can I move past what I experienced? Every form of sexual violations from multiple men starting at a young age. How can I move past having someone come up behind me and put a knife to my throat? How can I move past finding the first man who made me feel I was deserving of love and respect dead? I just wish they would tell me how, but no one seemed to know. They would just spout the little bit of knowledge and understanding they had of trauma, which always culminated in some version of just get over it. Given the little appreciation I have for the times I've been told to just move on, you may find it odd that I chose to use the words moving forward in the title of this book. It's, of course, on purpose. I feel like this message is on replay in various shapes and forms in the lives of all of us who've experienced trauma with very little, if any, explanation for how to even accomplish that task. It usually comes from people who want us to stop making them uncomfortable when we share our stories of suffering, who've never experienced trauma, or who were just parroting the same destructive messages they heard after their own traumatic experience. After our world shatters, we often ask questions such as, how do I pick up the broken pieces? How do I mend the jagged edges back together? How do I move through the world after tragedy strikes, knowing my life will never be the same, even though I wish that wasn't true? This book is designed to answer these questions and many more. To begin answering these questions, I'll start by saying that not a single step in the process is simple or easy. The process is messy and will last longer and typically be more painful than the trauma you endured. However, it is crucial for you to know that it's possible to reach the holy grail of moving forward after your trauma. As misguided as most might be when they use such phrases as just move on, it is possible to achieve the difficult task of taking steps to separate yourself from your pain. Once you begin taking those initial steps forward, you'll be able to start the process of envisioning a life for yourself that isn't based on the version of you that was marred by your trauma. For years, I felt like I was part of the walking dead. I thought my life had ended at the moment my traumas began and that the remainder of my life would be spent struggling to survive. But that wasn't the case. Instead of just merely surviving after my traumas, I thrived. Something that I previously thought was impossible became my new reality. Now I'm dedicating my life to help others reclaim their lives after trauma. And so that was a reading from the very beginning of my new book, Moving Forward, Life After Trauma. And... If you are someone like myself who has experienced an immense amount of suffering, I need you to know that your suffering can and will end. Um, no, you'll never be able to forget what happened to you, but you will be able to use what happened to you to your advantage. And it could take a long time to get to that point. And to get to that point, there's going to be a lot of things you got to overcome during the process. And so I wrote this book to help address the common questions that we all have when we're trying to pick up our broken pieces and trudge forward. And so in the meantime, I, I wish you well on your journey and, and in your days of struggle, which I assume there will be many, just keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep holding on to the belief that not every day will be as hard as today because it will get easier. 
It's hard to see that in the moments where we're truly suffering, but it will get easier. Okay, so just hold on just a little bit longer and let me know if you have any questions along the way. Bye for now.